Hi guys, I think tonight is the night. We are here. Dana's having contractions. And we are on our way to the delivery room. Let's go. Hold on. We are at the labor and delivery. Diana's being they giving her fluids right now to see if they could get Epidor in, but she's been admitted. And I think tonight the baby's gonna be here. I feel so bad, she's in so much pain. But she's been having contractions for the last one to two days and they've been really, really bad. And she took it, took it, took it, and today they got to the point where she couldn't handle them anymore. So here we are, and she is four and a half centimeters now. But she's hooked up, she got the epidural about two hours ago. She had really bad contractions, and the pain was unbearable almost, she couldn't take it. So now she's feeling better, she's sleeping, resting, and the doctors say she should wake up, and we should be ready to go. Baby Haley should be here. We got to the hospital last night around 11 p.m. It is 6 55 a.m. the following day and I'm feeling so good you guys well <laughs> that was in the story when I got here I was screaming like crazy I was not able to handle the pain I don't know what I would have done without the epidural but like once they gave me the epidural it took maybe like a few hours to kick in but I don't feel any pain right now I don't feel the contractions and they're pretty frequent and strong I was so nervous. I was crying so much. But I'm so excited because when we got to the hospital, we were four, four and a half or four? Four. Four, four centimeters dilated. And the doctor just checked right now. It's been quite a few hours since I got my epidural. And I am a fully 10 centimeters dilated. So they were like, oh my God. Like they were so shocked that it went by so quickly. So. I'm excited, that means baby Haley is gonna be here before we know it, literally in a matter of hours, we're gonna be with baby girl. So this is my last baby bump vlog. Oh my, oh my God, sorry, I have like heartburn still. But baby bump, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, Last night was crazy, I was not expecting for it to go that crazy but it did and even jose i don't even know how he did it i was like <laughs> going crazy at you and then after it all ended i was like i'm so sorry that's not me <laughs> I'm gonna go break the fridge. can you bring me an apple juice and water please I, I honestly was not expecting to be that person where I was like going crazy and when I tell you I almost broke this I almost broke this like I don't know where I got that strength from I still need to like oh what is that something's ringing <laughs> oh okay I'm gonna wait for the nurse because something is ringing I pressed the nurse button but well I don't know if that one works she gave me a separate one. Oh, yeah, it should be that one right there. I thought it was at the door. Oh. I don't know where it is. Oh, maybe it's this one. Big day today. It's Haley's big day. Where's my apple juice? My, I feel like my legs are like numb. Like I can't feel my, from my waist to my feet, I can't feel anything at all whatsoever. Did I give you my apple juice? I gave it to you. It's on your left that you can't feel. I can't. I told you guys that I'm currently 10 centimeters dilated, but they want the baby's head to be a little bit lower. So that's what we're waiting on right now. She said you're minus two. Yeah. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. But she's but very, very close and the doctor is on his way. On his way and they brought this thing in. So. <laughs> that's where the baby's going to go right there. Did yeah. you like clean her up? That's also where I have my cheese and my juice early. Did you? <laughs> oh my god. You have to cut the umbilical cord. That's gonna be so exciting. Hopefully I don't feel anything, like when I'm pushing. You should not feel anything. 
Heartbreak. Even if you feel something, it shouldn't be nearly as bad. That's how I felt this morning. Last night, actually. I did get like a, a good amount of sleep, like a few hours. Like waking up and going back to sleep, but I felt like I got a good rest. Jose, on the other hand. I saw you taking a nap on your fantasy couch. My convertible couch? <laughs> At least I have a view, though. I got a view of the mountains. Claimed that I was sleeping, but while you were sleeping, I went down to the U-Haul truck and got all our stuff. <laughs> I feel like we did good. I had to sneak all that stuff in. We didn't overpack, which is good. But I'm excited. We did not overpack. Last night I was watching more labor and delivery vlogs. And the last time I was watching labor and delivery vlogs, we ended up in the hospital too. So if you want to get your baby going, watch some labor and delivery vlogs on YouTube. <laughs> You're doing so good with the pushing that you're doing and your back, your contractions are like back, back. Um, you're, you're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take a deep breath in here. And you're gonna push down. Push my fingers out as hard as you can. That's it. That's great. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, roll it out. Yeah. Take deep breath in and push down here. Push my fingers out as hard as you can. Hard, 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 hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job. Hold that one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blow it out. Let's do one more. Big deep breath in. Thank you. 